So this guy last week, I, I liked him. Cynthia was right about him. I was dead wrong. Tyler Boyd, but I think he bounces back against the Cardinals. They've allowed four touchdowns and the third most fantasy points to slot receivers. John Ross is hurt. Boyd runs about 64% of his routes out of the slot. I'm also starting Calvin Ridley. Okay? Really? He's giving you two awful games oh. in a row, but here's where I like the matchup. Houston okay. defense has allowed the third most fantasy points to receivers lined out wide, which is where Ridley runs 85.3% of his routes. And oh, by the way, this is going to be a high-scoring game, so I got to figure Ridley's going to get back in the good graces of fantasy owners. My so. sleeper, Marquez, Valdez, Scantling, right? We don't know if Devontae Adams is going to play against the Cowboys, but at this point, I would call him unlikely. The Cowboys have allowed two top 20 wide receivers, including the wide receiver 11, over the last three games. Hey, Aaron Rodgers has got to throw the ball to somebody, right? So MVS could be one of his top targets. Give me two receivers to sit, man. Yeah, Emmanuel Sanders. I told you to sit him last week if Jalen Ramsey was active. He wasn't. Sanders came in, had a big game. But in his last four games against Casey Hayward and the Chargers, Sanders has been held to fewer than four catches, fewer than 68 yards, and no touchdowns. This could be a Cortland Sutton game again. I'm also benching Corey Davis. Uh, I'm glad this show is not sponsored by the Tennessee Titans. Oh, man. Because we have been all over them. But, I mean, Davis had 20 points last week. He had 14.2 in his previous three games combined. And uh, two words, Tredavious White. I'm not going there. I am sitting Mr. Davis.